for the blessings we have received till now. Give thanks to God for this opening day of Shiloh 2013. name we have given thanks. We are fully persuaded Jesus Christ that your presence is here. Therefore anything can happen tonight. Let everyone's desire happen to them tonight. I pray for a manifold release and impartation of the spirit of grace upon everyone present here in the name of Jesus. Thank you for setting our expectation for this great event. And thank you for turning everyone's expectation into manifestation. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Paul said, ye are all partakers of my grace. There is a spirit of grace. I'd like you to look out for it in this Shiloh. Lord, I desire a baptism of the Spirit of grace upon my life. I want to desire that because when you are imparted, it will show the Spirit of grace that makes things happen sweatlessly. The Spirit of grace that makes people wonder where it's happening from. The Spirit of grace. The Spirit of grace. I'd like you to reach out to heaven for a fresh baptism of the spirit of grace tonight. Reach out for it. Reach out for it. In Jesus' precious name, we are praying. Give the Lord a big hand, take your seat. I start tonight with a series of captions unveiling the exceeding riches of His grace. Unveiling the exceeding riches of His grace. Um, Veiling the exceeding riches of his grace. And I take my text from Ephesians chapter 2, beginning from verse 4. But God, who is rich in mercy, for his great love, we are with the loved of, even when we are. Dead in sins and quicken us together with Christ. By grace, He has saved. And has raised us up together and made us sit together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Ah, he said this may sound strange, but watch that in the ages to come. That is in the last days, he might show the exceeding riches of his grace in his kindness towards us through Christ Jesus. For by grace he has saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. 
that in the ages to come there shall be a full manifestation of the riches of salvation in the ages to come in the last days there shall be a full manifestation of the values and the virtues of redemption full manifestation there shall be a full release of the blessings of redemption full release full full in the ages to come talking about the last day the reality of heaven on earth will be undoubted people will be able to touch it and handle it this is heaven on earth please listen to me tonight because i want to believe god is 